Hi friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living and it's 8.30 at night. I haven't had a chance to film today. It's been one of those kind of days. Well, to be honest, it was kind of a lazy day today. I laid on the couch. I had to lay on the couch quite a bit today. Snuggled up with a blanket with little ones on me. And I watched Evie for a couple of hours this evening. Uh, well, I went out for supper with one of her girlfriends. I got the dishwasher going right now, so it might be kind of loud. But I thought we'll sit down and have a little chat for today's video. I meant to get up and do stuff. It's just it was raining today. Um, here's a little clip. I was about to attempt this morning to do a whole video, but it just kind of went downhill from there. Not in a bad way, just... Good morning, guys. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. <clears throat> oh, there's a dog in my yard. Just a lazy, rainy, that kind of day. But I'm about to have some great value club soda. Uh, I'm thirsty. But yeah, it was nice just to lounge on the couch. The house is a little messy, but I don't even mind. I don't even care. Uh, a little disappointing though. I had Mally hung out some towels yesterday on the line for me. I forgot to take them in and we woke up to rain. So they're still like, hanging out there, soaking, wringing them wet. But oh well. This isn't very cold, but it's still good. Anyways, I took out some <clears throat> cabbage rolls here. Two of my freezer meals from down in the basement. Because tomorrow I think I'm going to take kids to a family church picnic. Um, and it's potluck. Somebody just invited me. And I thought, well, I got stuff I can bring. I'm not making anything tonight, but I got some cabbage rolls I can bring. Two trays of them. So I have no idea how big this is. So I'm going to heat up both of them tomorrow morning. And uh, we have to be there for 11. So I'll put those in the oven probably 8 30, 9 o'clock and heat them up because they'll defrost overnight. They're frozen solid right now. And yeah, we'll go. But I have a few boxes here I want to open with you. They're nothing big and fancy, but I just thought we'll chit chat because I've got some big, big, big news. And very exciting news. Uh, no, I'm not having a baby or anything like that. But I thought I'll open some of these boxes while we're chit-chatting. My husband came home with us today. Isn't this nice? I have a knife set over there that's probably 15 years old. A lot of the knives have the tips chipped off of it and stuff. He got this. I think it was $69.99. I don't know what the regular price was. I'll have to ask him and just add it in the bottom here. But, yeah, a whole brand new knife set. So that one, I, you know, some of the knives are still good, some aren't, but I, I don't know. I'm going to take that away. And it's lasted us a long time. That's a KitchenAid set. A long time, honestly. That was a gift from my mom and dad when we lived way over at the other house. When we first bought the house, that was like a Christmas present. And it's done us well. It really has. It's carved pumpkins. It's carved turkeys. It's cut steak. It's cut veggies. It's done us well, but it's time to get a new one. This one's Cuisinart Classic, so I haven't had a new knife set in years. So we'll be able to, uh, I'm not even missing a knife out of that one. I don't know what the heck ever happened to it. <clears throat> but, so I thought I'd do a couple of, oh, I have an itchy nose. Ugh. An unboxing of sorts. I have an unboxing playlist that I never to add anything in so this one's going to be a big fat unboxing because I have four boxes here to open and we'll chit chat that's just important information do not return this product to the store <laughs> if I have to return it I have to call that number okay let's take a gander here so yes I suppose you're wondering what is this big news Tracy come on stop playing around stop forcing around well, I got some very exciting news yesterday, and I really wanted to share it, but it wasn't my place to share it, but I can share it today, because they've already shared it with the world. Uh, Medea and Evan are getting married. He proposed to her yesterday on a boat. Apparently, he got down on one knee. Medea had Evie in her little baby carrier, and he proposed to her. So they're getting married. Very exciting. Very, I was so thrilled, tickle pink. I'm so, so happy about this. Uh, marriage isn't, you know, 
and most of you know, when I call my husband my husband, we're not officially married, and I've never had the urge to actually be married. But my daughter wants to be married, and she was asked by her best friend, and they're getting married, and, you know, just to support her and to do, you know, they're, they're such a lovely family, and Evan is such an awesome part of, of our family. Uh, and together they made Evie, who, you know, is the light of my life. You know, he's my grandbaby. I love him so much. They're all going to be one official big family. They've always been an official family, but just to hold on a minute, guys. Sorry about that. The, uh, my husband and Mays were coming out here. Just kicking them out. But yes, yeah, so what I was saying, Evan is such a joy to have in our family. He, he loves Medea so much, and Medea loves him so much, and they're both great parents. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up washing these, but there's something down in there, some paper or something. There. Yeah, so that's my big news. So with that, the rest of the evening, I got a call directly after he proposed. Um, and she was like kind of crying on the phone, excited. Uh, I started thinking, oh, wedding, wow. I've never been the mother of a bride before. And then later on in the day, I'm like, what does a mother of the bride do? You know, like, what do we do? I have no idea what we do. Uh, so first of all, I looked up mother of the bride dresses. And I don't wear dresses. I will wear a dress, but I've never, I haven't worn a dress over 20 years honestly so I will wear one but I'm like what do mother of the bride dresses look like and I look up on the internet and all these big glamorous fancy prom looking dresses or I'm thinking oh my goodness this looks like one of those dresses off of a soap opera that one has a little plastic tip on it do these ones oh no they don't I mean the wedding's going to be way off. They don't even have a date. It's probably a year from now. But it was just funny to see. I'm like, if I showed up in a full-on glam dress, I think everybody's jaw would drop. But I'll find something. I'll get Medea to approve it, because it's her wedding. And we'll go from there. But, yeah, lots to think about. 2019 is proving to be a very interesting year. But coming up, you know, the day we'll be graduating from college that she's taken on herself. You know, we help her where we, you know, we help her along the way, but many people help her along the way, but she's taken charge. She started school when she just had Evie, you know. So a lot of things are changing for the better. Not that it was bad before, but lots of lots of things. I am so excited to see what what's left to come. All good things, I'm sure. There, look at that. I put all these back in here. I'll show you. Final product. It's not greasy or marked up or chipped or anything. Look at that. Ooh, Nelly. I'll be wiping that part of the counter off tomorrow to put that away. Very nice. Of course. Another thing my husband picked up today, out of the blue, was one of these jet stream soda stream makers making sparkling water that's what you know club soda is or the little cans I get so I can make it myself I said I want one someday I wasn't saying that for him to go buy it but I, he said it was on the sale this week and he just wanted to get it so I've never used one before we'll take it out and take a look at it this brand is what is it Soda Stream, Sparkling Water Maker, is that the Soda Stream Jet? 
That must be the brand. So let's open her up. That must be the thing that makes the bubbles. And the little instruction book. So maybe he got tired of buying all those waters for me. But that's my treat. All right. Well, it comes with a little black cap that must go on something. And it looks just see that I'm supposed to take this thing off and it must go in here somehow. Which it goes in here. Like that. Yeah, we'll try that tomorrow. I just wanted to open the box up and take a look at it. But this is the little pamphlet. Do any of you guys have something like this? Have you ever used it? I know my sister-in-law has one, and she's made drinks for me while I was down there with the kids, and she put berries and stuff in it, and it's really good. I just never paid any attention to when she actually made it. I don't know what you do. But now I have one of my own, and I can try and make one. So, very exciting. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way, I think. Oh, look in the back. Yes, that can must go up there. Go up in here. I was wondering where the heck the water comes out, but the back side. That's the water jug. I'm gonna just try to poke that in there. No, I'll wait for tomorrow. So I can pay real good attention to what I'm supposed to do. Because for now I got my own can of club soda. So we'll put that over there. Another box that I have. Is um, an Amazon box. And I think I know what this is. This came the other day. The day I went to Halifax, I think. And I said I'd show you these gadgets tomorrow. This is one of those gadgets. I bought this and it wasn't really super expensive. Oh, there's two things in here. Let me just drop it into this box. I bought a, like a dust buster, a handheld vacuum. I wanted one because I've been watching all those How Clean Is Your House and Obsessive Compulsive Cleaners shows over in the UK. A lot of them have these and it'd be perfect for cleaning out my cupboards and drawers and the cracks in the old wood floors upstairs and things like that and I think it was less than 50 bucks that I got this and I read reviews on a lot of different ones and the reviews on this were really good and it's rechargeable there's no cord or anything like you just plug it in and charge it and then you can use it um, so yeah I suppose that's not really unboxing it because I'm not going to open that right now when I do want to open it well, maybe I'll open it. Because I opened that soda streamer. I might as well open this. I'm not going to use it today, though. Not today. No way. Oh. So, just while I'm opening this, a weight loss update. I'm down to 156. Yep, 156. From two so I'm going, I'm still moving. I'm still moving and shaking. All right, well, let's see. Here's the little instruction manual. This is a Black & Decker cordless handbag. <clears throat> so it's, I didn't want something right big, but. It has some screws here. You must be able to mount it on the wall which I probably would, maybe over there somewhere. It has a little brush on the end. The, this video is not sponsored at all, guys. Just heads up there. I'm just showing you. I thought I'd chit chat with you. It has a lithium battery in it. A little part that goes in here. I know watching 
they open this somehow, but there's a filter in here that you can take out and rinse out. Is it charged up at all? Ooh, it is. So let's put this on. It's not supposed to be sideways, I don't think. That's it. Let me see the box. No, I must have twisted it wrong. There. There we go. Look at that. That's easy. And I see a little button up here. It says for filter. I must have to push that and the little filter on the inside. Maze? Just a minute, guys. Okay, guys, that was my teenager coming out along with me, so he was getting something out of the fridge, so. Yes, anyways, it came charged up at least a bit. It's supposed to be pretty good high power. The little mounts, a rechargeable plug, and I see here, this must be the mount that we put on the wall with the screws, so it just hangs up like that. That'll be good. We'll be uh, ready to rock. So, yeah, that's my other big, uh, that, well, that's something I got. So, not too bad. I'm going to put these little things in the box because I don't need to lose, lose this. My, um, not my husband. Marquise just came and got one of the new knives for the steak he got out of the fridge. I also ordered this. It's a rechargeable desk fan. Again, I'm thinking of my trip when I go to France. Sam's funny. Why would you get that, Tracy? But for those that don't know or forget, I sleep with a fan all the time. I have a hard time sleeping without a fan. And this one takes batteries, or it's rechargeable. Uh, so I see here it charges into any USB thing. So I'm going to make sure I have a plug or something that's USB. Well, I'm sure over in France they have USB ports, whatever, plug-in things. And it, uh, I can, it's small enough, I can take this in my suitcase. Does this happen to be charged up? How do you turn it on? Oh, it's on the front. Power. Oh. If you can see down at the bottom, it lights up. I wonder if there's different pack. Oh, it's on low, medium. I'll need the high. Can you guys hear that? That'll be perfect. So if I'm sleeping on a couch, or if I'm sleeping on a floor, if I'm sleeping in a bed, I can still have my fan and fall asleep with my fan. And that was one of those Amazon sales. I think it was 15, 16 bucks. But it's portable, and I can take it with me. So, yeah. Funny purchases, I know. But, yeah. One more box, guys. One more. So, that's done. That's done. You'll be able to see just from the box what it is. I got one of these mops. They've been out for a while now, and I've always wanted to get one. So, I thought I'd get one. Um, my house is big enough. I can use with a couple of mops and buckets. So, I already have one. And it's old. And I do have a a uh, Rubbermaid squeeze. It squeezes the liquid in them. It's kind of like a Swiffer, but it's not a Swiffer. And I really enjoy that. That's really good for spot cleaning. I find it's not very good to do a whole floor because you got to... My hand gets tired. It gets cramped up. Because you're squirting cleaner the whole time. But this... I'm sure you guys have seen this in, sitting in a store or something. see me. This is inside. It's the mop head. So it's just a bucket. This thing will spin around. If I push this pedal, it spins around. So basically, you know, when you dump the, the mop in the liquid, you can keep the mop as wet or as dry as you want, depending on how much you spin it. 
and this will be the mop itself. And the good thing about this, it's adjustable. So if I'm doing this, well, if I'm doing the floor with it, I'm not doing the ceiling. But if I happen to make this my window or ceiling mop or something like that, I'm going to use this on my hardwood floors is what I'm going to use it on. Uh, this one will be specific for my hardwood floors. So that screws on and it's adjustable. I think it goes, it must go longer than that. How do I do it? Hmm. Well, I don't want to break it. It's got to be longer than that, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. But here's the little end of it. Oh, so you can hang it up on a hook. Is that normal size? Oh yeah, that's normal size. Yeah, that's normal. So, and this must just hook on. Oh, it's soft. Oh, I guess it's microfiber or something. Take a good look because it's probably never going to be this nice and white and crisp after I use it. So this must just snap on. So how was your guys' day? What was the weather like where you were from? Oh yeah, that snaps right on. My table's clean, so... Yeah, ta-da! Yeah, I gotta figure that out. I don't want it going in while I'm while I'm mopping. I might fall flat on my face. Just a minute, guys. I swear I gotta set up a little studio down in the basement. There's not very good lighting. I can't. I can't get a moment's peace sometimes, but that's okay. I am stationed in the kitchen and this is the hub of the house, you know what I you know what I mean. But I forget what I was saying. Yeah, I figured out this to make it so it doesn't go in and out. You just twist it until it tightens up. So yeah, I'm excited about this when the kids go back to day camp next week. I'm busting this baby out along with my new dust buster. If you guys can think of a good name for my dust buster, I know that's not what it's called, let me know. Uh yeah, I feel it's a him, and he needs a name. So, good name for a sucker upper, whatever. But yeah, so those are some new trinkets for the house, and they're stuff that we're going to use. We use knives every day. My fan, yeah, that was kind of a want, not necessarily a need, but it, I will need it when I'm over in France. I know I will. I know that sounds kind of like silly, but... Yeah, this adds a, quite a comfort to me because I have a hard time sleeping without a fan or a breeze or a cold feeling coming off, coming on me, you know, that kind of thing. So that's good. And that soda stream thing, I drink these every day. So if I can make my own, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a good thing. And I just need to learn, learn how to set it up properly. So yeah, yeah. Those are my goodies. Those are my goodies. So yeah, I just thought I'd chat with you this evening because I kind of didn't do much today. Didn't even do laundry. And I, I know I have laundry in there I need to do, but I couldn't. It was just I couldn't. I did get up and um, Messiah went to a friend's house today. I had to bring her into that. She got her hair cut today just a couple of inches off the bottom. Um, but that's why I wanted to do her hair yesterday. Usually I would do it on the weekend, you know, to have like a nice afternoon and do her hair, but I knew she was getting her hair cut the next morning. And I couldn't send her to the hairdresser like that. <laughs> it was so tangled. She has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hair, but yeah, that swimming all week and stuff and just getting fuzzy. Oh, um... Oh, one of you said, oh, from Mama, three redheads and a brunette. She's a good friend of mine off of YouTube. She comments down below sometimes. She's saying she has a really good detangler from Avon. So I'm going to check with my Avon lady, who is actually my sister-in-law, Stephanie, 
to see if she has a detangler because if she does I'd try to give it a whirl because I got lots of heads around here I could try it on that's for sure Mally's hair gets naughty Misha's hair gets naughty Maze's hair gets naughty you know Mazai's hair gets naughty it's just the way it goes so if they needed a guinea pig or a bunch of guinea pigs right here contact me but I'll, I'll contact Stephanie and see if they have that so Stephanie if you're watching this I want some detangler to try and I'll, I'll find out if it's the same one um, she uses for her kids but yeah these I think I'm gonna leave right out on the table like they are totally solid and I'm gonna put those in early uh, and they're stocked, locked and stocked, full of cabbage rolls. So I'm going to show up there with, I don't know, 24, 30 cabbage rolls. <laughs> I, don't know how, I have no idea how big this picnic is. If it's huge or if it's, you know, just a small group. But either way, there'll be a cabbage rolls there. It's, yeah, that's not generally something people bring to potlucks in the middle of summer. But I do. I am. <laughs> But that's all right. That's all right. But so when I do go on that tomorrow, um, I'm going to bring the kids with me. I don't know if Mazar will be back then or not, but yeah, it's only for a couple of hours. But uh, I'm going to take the kids with me. So I'll take you guys along with me too, so you can kind of see. I'll see, try to film some of it. I'll film the food. I always love filming food to show you the buffets that, you know, we get to go to. I was really going to take the kids down to that lake we were to on that lake birthday the other day, but yeah, I was really hoping that the weather wasn't going to rain, even though it said it was going to rain, and it did rain. But, you know, sometimes when the weatherman calls it a certain way, it doesn't turn out at all. I was hoping for that scenario, but that's okay, because I really, I really laid on the couch, and it sounds silly, was looking up Christmas stuff and looking, watching some of my friends' YouTube channels a little bit. I haven't had the chance to do that like I used to do that, but... Um, just to show some love and support but then I I fall down the rabbit hole and see oh small little lunch treat hacks and then it goes Christmas treat hacks Christmas party hacks hacks and how to throw a Christmas party how to do this set a Christmas day. and I just went on and on and on and I'm like oh my goodness Tracy snap out of it it's lovely and it gives you that warm feeling but I'm like for goodness sakes you know it's it's August but yeah, September is rolling around, and then I can start that ball rolling. Not jump right into Christmas, of course, but I was thinking today, just while I was sitting on the couch, I should sit down with you guys and make my goals list for the fall. I'm not going to do that right now, but that might be one of my videos coming up. Uh, make my top 10 goal list for the next three months. And they're not just going to be like, oh, clean my fridge or, you know, clean my porch or something like that. It's going to be like bigger goals. Whether I achieve them or not, I'll have them down physically on paper and I'll share them with you. And whether they come to light or not, I know, you know, I'll know what my goals are. And I'm not going to be downhearted if I don't accomplish them all. But it's nice to have a plan. And then with one of the big goals, I can make little lists from that, you know, how to make that happen. You know, uh, just an example, Thanksgiving is going to be one of my goals. Have a successful Thanksgiving. Uh, and all the planning that goes with that. And I love that because I make lists and lists and lists and lists. And I clip them all together and the paper's all wrinkly because I press hard with the pen. And, you know, it's just the whole thing, the whole thing. That's one. But then I might have another goal of something else and another goal of something else. And, yeah, that'll be one of my videos coming up. Um, I'm just I'm just rambling now guys I'm just rambling but yeah anyways I know not a big exciting video or anything but you see some new trinkets for the house I plan on maneuvering around my countertop tomorrow because I do want to have that soda stream thing up on my counter and I do want that new knife block up and I do want my new dust buster name to be determined set up somewheres that's convenient and that's close to a plug I don't have any plugs well I have one right there but I I don't want that right in the middle of my kitchen below the bulletin board I have a plug in my laundry room maybe I'll hang it up in there somewhere but to get that uh, stuff settled in its new home the boxes out of my house 
um, and yeah, make a plan for the coming week. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna cut it off here. I have a swig left of that. But peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for you. Yes, I do. Each and every one of you. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, stop back tomorrow because we're going on a picnic to a teddy bear's picnic. Well, not really, but we're going to a picnic potluck. And the kids, it's right on a lake and they can go swim in. And I guess there's a little worship service at first. It's probably from 11 to 12, and then it's grub time, and then the last couple of hours is swimming in games or something, so. Uh, yeah, I have no idea who's going to be there. I know my friend is going to be there. It's actually Mally's friend Lila, her mom, that messaged me. And um, so I'll know one person there. <laughs> but that's okay. We can blend in, can't we? Uh, just put a smile on your face and have a good attitude. You can fit in anywhere, so yes, you can, so. That's what I plan on doing. All right, guys. Well, you have a good sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow. So bring your swimsuit and uh, your sandals and some sunblock and shades, and we'll be good to go. So see you tomorrow. Bye.